And my name is Sean Langridge, and I'm the group leader for the Large Scale Structures Group at ISIS. Oh, uh, I guess the best thing is that I, I never know what my job is going to entail. So we work with a wide number of groups, uh, both academic and industrialists, not only within Europe, um, but through Europe, uh, the US, uh, and beyond. So I think the real excitement about what we do is just not knowing what's going to come next. And actually, from that uncertainty, you, you make, hopefully, you make new connections, new discoveries, and that's what's really great. I guess what's not so great is the times when we spend long hours on the beam lines, so experiments are scheduled over 24 hours uh, for maybe two, three, four, five days at a time. And so trying to find the motivation at two, three o'clock in the morning to, to think hard and make another measurement uh, is probably the hardest part of what we do. We're a nanoscience group and we want to understand materials at the nanoscale. And our ambition is that by having this detailed, precise information, we have things that are useful to groups in trying to understand why their systems behave in the way that they do. They're useful to theoretical groups who can test their theoretical models against our practical experimental data. And ideally, we would like to create a virtuous circle where we can study materials, characterize them, use that information as a test against theories. That goes back then to the people who grow or fabricate the samples, produce a new sample with better properties. We can then characterize it. And hopefully, this is a way in which we can generate new materials uh, and actually really get to grips with some of the exciting fundamental properties uh, that happens only when you shrink materials down to the nanoscale. I think is always ask questions. I think uh, never take anything for granted. I think one of the exciting things you learn as a scientist is there are no right and wrong answers. You can keep asking questions and eventually even the world's experts will run out of answers. And I think that's really exciting. There's just some things that we're, we're always going to be trying to discover new information. So keep that enthusiasm, keep asking questions, and don't be afraid to ask questions because it's only by asking simple questions do you actually get to the heart of very complex problems.